Hey y'all, in today's video, I am so excited you're here because I have several Dollar Tree, Walmart, Christmas, wood round dupes for y'all that I know you're gonna love. So if that's something you're interested in, then just keep watching. Okay friends, this is a perfect beginner project for any of you out there who are intimidated by DIY. So we are gonna start off with the first welcome sign. And y'all, I saw these signs at Walmart and I just could not get over how expensive they were. I knew that I can make them for much less. So we're gonna start off with a wood round from Dollar Tree and I cut the tag off and then give it a distressed coat of my Ink Waverly chalk paint. If you've been around for any length of time, then y'all know I am super duper impatient. So I hit that with my blow dryer. And then once that's fully dry, then I go through my stash of transfers. If you guys need to know or want to know, I should say, how to get your transfers off my website at 40% off. Text my number and just say the word chalk and I'll get that info over to you. But I go in my stash and I find this transfer that says welcome to our nest. And that's what I love about Chalk Couture. You don't have to use the exact design. You can mix and match them. And not only that, but they are reusable and the chalk is reusable depending upon what surface so obviously this is not um, erasable or reusable but if you're using a chalkboard or anything like that you can totally just wipe it away and re-chalk over it so once I have my welcome transferred on with my white chalk paste then I just take a pencil and draw a circle around the edge and once I have that done then I take a small paintbrush and just paint over that line now I am not not perfect and I do not have a steady hand so I just did this the best that I could and once I had the first um, the first line covered then I go back over that just to cover because there was a little bit of black showing through so once I was completely done with the edging then I let that dry now I would encourage you guys to just take your time and do this because it is a little bit tricky. I was really nervous at first. I honestly did not want to do it, but you know, I'm trying to dupe this sign and I really did think that it needed this around the edges. So I was like, you know what, forget it. I am going to do it. I'm going to take my time and however it turns out, it turns out. So I definitely encourage y'all to step out of your comfort zone because it usually turns out much better than you think. Next, I pull out my greenery that I got from Timu. I will leave my Timu link down below. Yes, it is a legit site. I have an entire video coming on Friday for y'all, and I cannot wait to show you the DIY that I came up with with Timu items. So, like I said, use my link. Use the code BEST399 at checkout and you will save some money. So anyway, I take this ribbon from Dollar Tree and I wrap it around itself six times with the um, size that I personally like. And then I also cut little slits on either side in the middle. Next, I take a piece of jute and tie that so that it's nice and tight. And then I pull out all of the loops. Now, you guys are gonna see here in a minute that I really don't like this bow, y'all. I don't know. There's just something about it. It's a little bit too floofly, floof. <laughs> yeah, floofly. Floofy and fluffy, and I, I don't know. I just really don't like it. So I ended up creating a different bow. But if you guys personally like this, to make the tail, all you have to do is cut another piece, glue it in kind of like a V. I also cut dovetails in the end and then glued that to my bow. Like I said, I personally did not like that, so I just made a simple bow. And if you guys need to know how to make 11 different bows, I will leave that in the cards in the right-hand corner for y'all. But I just made this simple bow, cut dovetails in it, and then I glued the greenery together first and then glued that down to my sign. Next, I use my Gorilla Glue hot glue to glue down the bow into the middle. 
Once that was done, then I take these berries that I got from Walmart and I glue down some picks on either side of the bow. Another pro tip is to always make sure you like the placement before you glue anything down. That way, if you don't like it, you can always change it before gluing it down. And literally, you guys, that quick and easy, you have this gorgeous high-end looking sign for super, super cheap. For the next wood round, again, I take a wood round from Dollar Tree and cut the tag off, and then I give it a distressed coat of my white Waverly chalk paint. Once again, y'all know I'm super impatient, so I completely dry it with my blow dryer and then I go in my stash. I didn't have anything in cursive that said joy so I pulled out my joy transfer and then I was like well this seems pretty easy maybe I can hand draw it so I flipped it over just to practice and y'all I hate my handwriting so I ultimately decided to just transfer on the joy that I had with my gold paste and when and when that was completely dry, then I went ahead and glued down some greenery to the top as well. I get this lamb's ear from Walmart and they are $2 for two picks. So I feel that's a really good deal because I love Walmart's florals. They're really high end at an affordable price. So I always look in Walmart before I grab anything from Dollar Tree, just because even though Dollar Tree has um, their quality has gotten much better with their florals, but I still just personally feel like Walmart is the better deal. So I cut those picks down, glue those on either side, as you see here. And then I also had these little greenery picks that I got off Shein, I believe, and cut those down and glue those down as well. Next, I take this burlap ribbon that I got from Dollar Tree. And once, I get, once again, I just make a simple bow, tying it in the middle with some jute that I also got from Dollar Tree, cutting the ends on an angle, and then gluing that down in between the greenery. And once again, just like that, look how gorgeous this turned out. Now, I wish I would have distressed it a little bit, but y'all, I... I've been so busy. I literally stayed up till 5 a.m. filming the Timu video and then filmed this the very next day. So no big deal. Let me know what y'all think. Okay, friends, for the last and my personal favorite wood round dupe, I take once again <laughs> a Dollar Tree wood round and I section that off with my painter's tape starting in the middle and then I paint that with a distressed coat of my white Waverly chalk paint. And I just have to say, y'all, there's literally no way that I would be able to do everything that I do if there if I did not drink ketones. So I don't only drink ketones for weight loss. Um, yes, that is a huge, huge benefit, but they were actually created for your brain. So they give you better focus, better mood, better energy, better muscle preservation, better sleep, better digestion. So I don't want you guys to think that ketones are only for weight loss. They were actually formulated for um, the brain. So if y'all want any ketone info, um, weight loss is just a added benefit. I lost 60 pounds in six months. Text my number, the word ketone, and I will get y'all that info. So once that middle was dry, then I go ahead and I use my painter's tape to section the edges off as well. And then I paint the top with black and the bottom I use my Dixie Belle Voodoo stain. Now, obviously, y'all, this bottle of stain has been well-loved. I'm almost out. But if you guys purchase this, please do not be like me. And make sure that you close the top 
because I did not close mine. It got all clogged up and then I tried to like squeeze it out and it, it was just a big mess. So moral of the story is if you purchase this, just take care of yours. Clean off the top, clean off the edges if you get some because then you won't be like me and have to like pour it out to use it. So once that was completely dry, then I take my Chalk Couture transfer and this particular transfer had four different ones. Now, unfortunately, this one is not available. This is from last year, which is why I always tell y'all to grab the transfers when you see them because they go out of stock um, and we also retire them pretty quickly. So that's why I always say if you see them, grab them. Um, but anyway, I transfer on the top with my gold paste and then I love to do the ombre effect so I do the top with gold and the bottom with black and then to join them together I just take my squeegee and kind of like squeegee them together if you will if that made no sense then you could see what I just did I also transfer on the little stars and dots with gold and then obviously the greenery I transfer that on with my pesto chalk paste now, in the original sign, the white was kind of like a shiplap. So, y'all know me. I'm super extra. I took my pencil and I lightly drew lines going the exact same way that they were on the original sign. And then to make it look like it is a part of the sign, I just used my finger to kind of like smudge it, if you will. And then I also took my eraser to erase it a little bit so that just a very thin, line was left behind. Next, I took some greenery that I got from Walmart and I glued that down once again on either side. I felt that it was missing a little greenery. It was just a little too sparse for me. So I did pull a few more of the branches off and glue those down to the empty spots. And then once again, surprise, surprise, I made a simple bow from I believe I got this um, when all the fall stuff was on clearance at Walmart and glued that ribbon down to the top. Now for all of the signs, I wanted to show y'all how I made little hangers in the back. I just uh, took some jute twine from Dollar Tree. I doubled it up and then glued it into a loop on the back of each. And look how gorgeous this sign is. I absolutely love it. I can't wait to hang it for years to come. And I'm always curious which was your favorite. So let me know down in the comments. Don't forget to share this out. That is how my channel grows. I appreciate every single one of you more than you could ever know. If nobody has told you today, you're absolutely stunning. You're worthy. You're gorgeous. You literally can do anything you set your mind to. Coming from an addict eight years sober, if I can do it, I know y'all can do it as well. With that being said, if y'all want any chalk or ketone info, text my number that popped up on the screen. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. I love y'all so much. Bye. Check out the videos that are popping up here to your left while you're waiting on my next upload or join the DIY fam here to your right.